Do you like wearing heels? Are you super short like me, five foot two, for example? Can you wear heels without having painful feet? Not really, aren't you? Hi, my lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite topics: heels, shoes, painful feet what to do i'm gonna give you some tricks as well how to clean and shine your heels and as well how do i do with my heels why i'm such a heels lover personally i feel extremely feminine sexy when i wear heels when i don't wear heels i feel more casual right now i'm talking to you in my living room i'm barefoot but i'm gonna go put some of my shoes and showing you as well and every time i want to elevate and add fit uh, it will be heels you know every time i want to go out go to a work event not this year of foot i wearing heels because it's not going to only elevate my feet, but it's going to elevate me knowing that I'm five foot two and I need just a little bit of centimeter just to say, hey, I'm here. I'm not a kid. <laughs> Question number one, can you wear heels all day long? It depends. It's not recommended. Or if you do, then swap with flat shoes, flip flops on the evening to give a bit of a rest to your back to your heels, to your legs, to everything. But as well, some of you in a work environment, it's compulsory to wear heels. For example, a job I did for six years when I was in my 20s, fly attendant, it's compulsory to wear heels. Even now they're smaller and smaller, but it's still heels. I think the load change depends on which country or airlines, but in France it was compulsory. And we used to use so in sole with liquid, putting products on it, elevated my legs all the time, putting a cube on it. Every time I used to stop to a country, I was heading to the pool and go for swimming. I know a lot of hostess used to go back to Paris after a big flight and they have a massage to drain their legs just to avoid to have really bad legs. So I can tell you about legs and heels forever and ever for hours. Also, you might work in corporate, you know, I'm thinking very high corporate like pharmaceutical maybe banking uh, lawyers sometimes the outfit is very strict and most of the time if the every woman wearing heels it happened to me four years ago when I had a job in corporate in a city in Sydney and it was really heels I used to wear heels all the time but I used to drive in barefoot actually and then I used to have my shoes under my desk and every time I used to have to go to a meeting or meeting with a client I sweep I, I slide into my high heels and going you know but soon I could I was resting my feet under my desk I don't know if it's the right thing to do but that was my secret because at the end of the day my feet are, were killing me. <laughs> if you wear wearing only for an event like I do most of the time now I will recommend to wear what I do a really big bag and I'm wearing my flip-flops and then I will wear I will carry my heels inside of my big bag I will park the car I've done that thousand and thousand times and going to the event let's say it's an event in a hotel okay in a city and then in the lift I will swap the shoes I don't care what people said or can look at me I don't give a beep okay and when I'm arriving to the event I'm like here we go I'm here <laughs> I recommend at least two pair of heels which will be the black one and the nude so my heels are very high but again i'm really short and uh, that probably almost the same height usually i pick my shoes without knowing it but that's probably a good 10 12 centimeters and uh, i find that having two pairs of the nude one this is in suede this one is from zara and i think this one is from nine west and that was really good for work i put an insole not a sexy one but extremely more comfortable and my recommendation as well when you pick heels is to be careful when the leather is covering the heels because you will damage the heels i don't know if you can see and that's very hard so sometimes i super glue or sometimes i use a black marker to hide it because if you bring it to a shoe repair 
they have to remove completely the heel, put something else, but it's not the same style. I've done that as well. But in a shoe repair, you, I will recommend, especially with very high quality shoes, is to put a another cover to protect. This is my Instagram account. At the beginning, I used to post a lot of mini videos about shoes. People really love it. I don't know why I'm not doing that anymore because I've been a little bit busy, but check it on MS Frederick and I'm also always responding and read every DM you send me so I really love it so thank you for that and see you on Instagram if you still have to wear heels or you prefer wear heels but you you have a sore back or it's not really recommended then choose the small heel by the way check my video in the trends for 2020 and 2021 the kitten heels are back kitten heels it's not even this this is almost too high kitten heels are much smaller that's probably my shortest heels that i have this one are in felt so i like it because personally i have a very wide foot and a bit of a bunions and this one is really, it helps me, this is my comfy shoes if I really want to, if I have to walk all day long with heels, I will pick this one because they're most comfortable than the big one. If you're looking for more comfortable heels, I recommend this brand, by the way, it's Kala Shoes. I've done a sponsor video with them and there will be link below. It was about the black dress and they sent me those shoes. So the more square kind of heel, fatter or bigger the heel will be it will have more support on your heel so it will be less painful so that's a recommendation if you want to know about those shoes check my video it will be linked below as well my only platform shoes are this one they in cork so they're super light it was HM in Paris years ago for 20 bucks I think and I have to go to a party and they're actually one of the most comfortable but they're not the most sexy great for summer you've seen my uh, dresses about summer dresses and I think that will do the summer extremely well. I always said as well, you know those stripper shoes, the very, very high heels, we're very compensated and suddenly you form five foot two to six foot two, <laughs> you know. I always said that's not the type of an elegant, classy woman will wear outside. So stripper shoes to stripper in stripper places, strip and drawn, I don't know you call that. That's okay, that's what they made for, not for outside. Alcohol and high heels are definitely a super dangerous mix because we go out, we wear those high heels, we're having fun, and then suddenly we lose the balance, we miss the step, and I know women who fell off all the way down to some stairs, you know. Personally, almost 18 years ago, I think, I missed a step in a nightclub and I heard <laughs> And guess what? The day after I was in emergency in a wheelchair with my ankles big like that in purple. And lucky me, it wasn't broken, but it was a very bad sprain. And I was on the crutches for three weeks. Not fun. So high heels, alcohol, mm -mm -mm, not a good idea. Also, logically, when you wear open toe shoes, oh, this one is so beautiful, they're so nice. They are my sexy shoes for my sexy nights and naughty nights, very uncomfortable. When you wear the type of shoes, have a pedicure. It's a no-no that you are wearing, showing your toes and your toes and feet are not clean. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about how to keep your feet smooth and you maintain your toes and your polish and everything. But open shoes, pedicure impeccable fit the only thing i'm going to tell you is when you wear very pointed feet and if you have wide feet like me at the end of the day it's going to crash and the blood is going to accumulate in your toes it's going to be super super painful so maybe if you have sensitive feet try to avoid pointing pointed shoes even if i believe they are the best beautiful in the world i fell in love with this one <laughs> Also, I had another secret going to a friend's wedding. Apparently, all the girls were crazy about that. It's called Soul Serum, not a sponsor. I bought it. It was pretty expensive. I will link below if I can find something similar on Amazon. And it's a gel, okay? It's like a menthol gel, and you're supposed to put it like hours and hours before um, it's supposed to soothing for relief of foot so apparently it's good to wear before wearing heels for example you have to go to a wedding and on the evening 
I am not 100% sure about that, so don't take my word on it. Another trick, obviously you need to have polished shoes. Your shoes need to be always impeccable. If you check on my videos, will be linked below, by the way. Um, how to always look classy and elegant or what French women will never do, always have impeccable shoes. I know we're talking about heels in this video, but even if you're not wearing heels, your shoes have to be impeccable. So you need polish. So this is a stocking, a very old one. And when you have nothing to polish your shoes or when you finally put all the products, and I'm gonna show you, I have the other shoes I haven't touched and you just rub the nylon i know it's insane so this is the shoes i didn't shine this is the shoe i shine can you tell the difference yes you can just using your stockings take it take it it's for you <laughs> always always having at least a couple of banded always no matter what banded a condom <laughs> you know all the things that a girl needs before going out. <laughs> All right, ladies, you always ask me as well, how do I keep my feet so smooth? Well, it's no secret, I look after my feet a lot. For a matter of fact, actually, my feet are more beautiful than my hands, that I do believe. So I have very small feet, size 36, 37 in Europe. So you can convert in whatever new country. And so I have very small feet. The advantage when I travel to Asia, I can buy shoes over there because I always find my size. <laughs> but who cares? At least have a professional pedicure at least once per month. If you don't want to pay money or you can do yourself, do yourself. I do myself. I'm pretty sure I have a couple of videos about red nails and pedicure. Very old videos, so, but I'm happy to link them below if you want to have a look. What is that? And this one is liquid now because it's very hot today. It's coconut oil. So I buy usually a really big one organic coconut a jar and then um, it's everywhere that's fantastic <laughs> and then I put two books like that I got one in the living room one in my bedroom you know everything in the bedside table and I with a spoon I scoop a bit of a coconut when it's hard and I put in it close it always keep it the container straight because it's leaking and it's oily it does its job before going to bed or sometime watching a movie i will grab the coconut and give myself a fit massage first of all it's really good to for the blood circulation but the coconut it really hydrate my skin i have a very dry skin it's good for dry elbows for the face even on your hair and then you can wash your hair the day after that will be my secret. Don't be shy of crossing your feet together. You are not walking like an elephant, okay? You are an elegant lady. You can give a little bit of hip movement, maybe not too much like I'm doing. Think Naomi Campbell, who is probably the best model on a, on a, on a fashion show. You know, she was like, oh. You look at her walking and you think, man, look at her. Anyway, you don't, but if you go to a walk event and you're coming with your heels and you start walking like that, you might be in trouble. So, but it's better to cross a bit your feet. Like you imagine you have an invisible line and you try to put one step at the time without too much exaggerating, obviously. But at the end, do whatever you do, but try to be elegant with heels. People really love heels. I love heels. I think it's super elegant. You do not have to wear the heels exactly matching your outfit. Actually, I love corporately doing opposite. For example, be all black and having those red shoes or wearing a jeans with leopard. I like this. I like playing with shoes because I don't wear too much colors personally, but you will find colors in my shoes of pattern or texture, style. Uh, I'm really, I'm obviously a shoe lover. Don't forget to subscribe. Did you like this video? Yeah, 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 yeah. Click, 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 click. Let me know by giving me a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Tell me what is your favorite shoes and why. And also share this video if you think you had fun. You say, hey, can share up one of my friends. Click on share, share the videos, spread the words. 
<laughs> and the most important, you take care. Thank you so much for watching. And I see you to the next video. Bye bye.